Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Leave a comment below to help grow the channel, and don't forget to smash the like button. Homework Lecture 100、right, Problem number one A peculiar wind carrying currency notes blows uniformly through a park. You have a rectangular net with area A to try and catch some of the money. When the normal to the net's opening is aligned with the direction of the money's velocity, the flux through the net is $100 per second times A, or 100A. When the net's normal is perpendicular to the moving velocity, the flux is $0 per second. Calculate the money flux through the net when the angle between the net's normal and the velocity is 30 degrees. So this is not as difficult as it sounds. Again, if we have, so we're at number one, we've got some. Money velocity like this, and I'm going to have our velocity point in this direction, v, and the normal to our net is like this, and that is at an angle of 30 degrees. So the net is kind of faced like so. So, how do we calculate this? Well, we'll get the phi is equal to the integral. I guess I'll call the money velocity d for dollars. Dotted with that normal, dA. So integrate the area. And that is going to be equal to the integral of the magnitude of d times the cosine of 30 degrees dA. And that will be equal to magnitude of d times the cosine of 30 degrees. And of course, all we're left with is integrate dA, we just get the a, area, a. So that will be equal to 100A, because that's the magnitude of D,、uh, times the square root of 3 over 2. So phi is equal to, just reducing that a little bit, 50A, or 50 square root of 3A. There we go. How's that? And that's it. Number one. All right, number two, calculate the electric field due to a uniform and infinitely long line of charge with charge density lambda using Gauss's law. Use the geometry of a cylinder for this calculation. Hint the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi rl. Okay, and we have an illustration. Let me see if I can reproduce that illustration here. So, number two, we've got a bunch of charge. This will go out to minus infinity, plus, plus, plus. All the way through. Okay, here's our geometry. So, first, let's get Q total inside this cylinder surface.、Um, I'll write it here. So, Q total, really Q inside, is just equal to lambda, the charge density, times L. The net flux is going to be equal to the closed surface integral of E dot N dA. It's important to note here that the electric field lines are always radially outward from this line of charge. And so it'll be normal to the surface of this cylinder. So we can write this as the magnitude of E sub N times the closed surface integral. Of dA, which is just equal to and then through Gauss's law, this will be equal to 4 pi times the Coulomb constant K times Q total. Note that the integral dA for a cylinder is equal to 2 pi RL. That was the hint that I gave. So, we can calculate the electric field as follows E is equal to 4 pi k、uh, q total, 4 pi k q total, divided by 
uh, this, the integral of the area, which is 2 pi rl, so divided by 2 pi rl. I'm going to substitute in for q total using lambda l. So 4 pi k lambda l divided by 2 pi rl. And you can see we're going to get some cancellations here. The l's will cancel. Uh, we've got a pi that's going to cancel. 2 is going to cancel, leaving 2 up here. And we get what? We get 2 k lambda over r. And I think that's pretty much it. Now, alternatively, we could use the relationship that, you know, k, which is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. If I use that, this can also be written as lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught r. And the reason you might do that is because in some books they'll use uh, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught instead of k. And that is number 2. Number three, calculate the electric field inside a medical, sorry, calculate the electric field inside a metal spherical shell of radius r with charge density sigma uniformly distributed on the surface of the sphere. Okay, doesn't sound too bad. So if we imagine, this is number three, if we imagine a sphere And let's put a Gaussian sphere outside of this. So the inner sphere has radius, let's say, little r. And to our Gaussian sphere, we have radius r, big R. Then we can write. Was I inside or outside? I forgot. Let's see. Inside a medical metal sphere. Okay. So, inside the metal sphere. So, little r is the radius of our Gaussian sphere. Big R is the radius of our metal sphere that has the surface charge on it. Right? So, what's that equal to? So, we get phi net equals the integral, closed surface integral, of E dot N dA, which is equal to 4 pi K times... Q inside. Well, what is Q inside? Q inside is zero, right? Because the, the charge is all on the surface of the sphere. So this is going to give me that E dot A of a sphere is equal to zero, which means that E is equal to zero. So the electric field inside that sphere is equal to zero. That's all there was to that one. All right, number four. Careful measurements reveal that the net flux through the surface of a box is five kilonewtons meter squared per coulomb. What is the charge inside the box? Okay. Doesn't matter what the shape of the box is. We know that, this is number four, that, that phi net from careful measurements is equal to, I'm just going to write this instead of 5K, I'll write as 5,000. And that's a newton meters squared per coulomb. So newton meters squared per coulomb. And this, of course, is equal to 4 pi k q inside. And so that's what we're going to calculate is what is q inside? So we solve for q inside. So q inside is equal to 5,000 divided by the 4, the pi. Uh, k is 9e9. And that's going to give me 4.4 .4 times 10 to the minus 8 coulombs, which is the same thing as 40 nanocoulombs. Okay, pretty straightforward. And I believe that was the last uh, homework problem for the homework.